Sunrise, New Zealand, the first country in the world to see the new day. New Zealand, where deer thrive in a natural, unpolluted environment. New Zealand, producing the world's finest antler velvet, prized along with ginseng in oriental medicine. New Zealand, famous for its waterfalls and clean waterways, its high mountains, for its rich green pasture land, and for the finest deer in the world, farmed in a variety of unpolluted, expansive landscapes. New Zealand. For millions of years of geological time, this small South Pacific nation was isolated, home to a few birds and an abundance of native bush and herbs. There's only been human settlement here in very recent times, and it wasn't until the middle of the last century that the first red deer and elk were liberated by European settlers, attracted here by the rich expanses of farmland. Both species, particularly red deer, bred rapidly in the New Zealand landscape, where they were ideally suited to graze on the native forest and grasslands. Driven by a strong market demand for deer products, and after initial visits by Korean and Chinese people, the first deer farm was set up in 1970. Since then, selective importation and breeding programs have been rapidly improving the quality and size of New Zealand deer. Unlike Chinese and Korean deer, which are grazed in small holdings or yards with most feed brought in, New Zealand deer are grazed on natural pasture land, ranging in size from 50 hectares to more than 1,000 hectares. The deer feed on the purest vegetation, everything from rye grasses, clovers and naturally occurring herbs, to the foliage of native forests where the hinds breed undisturbed. In the colder parts of New Zealand, naturally dried pasture is fed to the deer during winter, in some cases supplemented with maize and barley grain. It's important to note that no artificial additives or growth hormones are ever used in New Zealand deer farming. With so much space and with careful breeding programs to ensure the most vigorous bloodlines are developed, New Zealand stags produce some of the finest velvet in the world. To New Zealanders like Keith Hood, deer have become a lifetime's work. His love for these proud and noble animals grew from watching stags in the wild. Now he owns a herd of more than 6,000 red deer. Some captured wild in the mountains behind his farm, others bred on his own land. Using breeding stock, he scoured the world to find.
Today, Keith Hood's robust and vigorous stags produce some of the best velvet available anywhere. But that's just the beginning of the story. Once the antler velvet has been removed and frozen, it's offered for sale to interested buyers. Most New Zealand farmers sell their velvet by pool or collective arrangements. Velvet pools are run by a number of organisations which accumulate antler from farmers, inspect, and grade the velvet in hygienic and sterile conditions and then offer it for sale by public tender. Quality control is maintained by a strict grading system administered by a statutory organisation set up by the New Zealand government and funded by industry levies. Furthermore, all inspection and grading facilities are licensed and inspected by the New Zealand Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. The whole system is so effective, it's now being copied and used by many other velvet producing countries around the world. If quality is vital during the grading stage, it's doubly important during processing. Great care is taken to preserve the natural purity and blood content of the velvet. All New Zealand velvet processing is carried out in specialised factories. These are licensed by the New Zealand Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries and are regularly inspected to ensure the hygiene standards required for the production of quality velvet are always maintained. There are two basic stages to the velvet processing. First, the frozen velvet is placed in a steam oven or autoclave for sterilisation or pasteurisation. During this process, the velvet is thawed and then a strict temperature moisture regime is applied which destroys any bacteria which may be present. Secondly, the velvet moves to an electronically controlled dehydrator or dryer. Once sufficient moisture has been removed, the velvet is taken from the dryer and regraded. This extra grading ensures only velvet of suitable quality is packaged and documented for export. The New Zealand Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries provides certificates and shipping documentation certifying that the velvet has been processed in licensed and hygienically controlled facilities meeting the required international standards. <laughs> 